Today it's a great honor and privilege to have the great legendary, one of the kings of comedy, Steve Harvey. What's going on with you? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Now listen, I, I got some perimeters now. I told your producers that you're not gonna talk about my marriage and you're not gonna talk about Lori. I just wanna answer a couple questions Bruh, to clear the air. I thought you said everything was on the Everything is not on the It's not a problem, it's not a problem. We will keep that out. All right, we just have a few questions for you. Okay. Now let's get right into it. What's going on with Cedric the Entertainer? Is there any problem? What's going on? Me and the original Kings of Comedy, we're we're still cool. I ain't got no problem with nobody. Of course, Bernie Mac is deceased, but me and the Kings of Comedy are cool. I don't know what Cat Williams is talking about. He came up with all this uh, nonsense. That's why I came out to address the public. I I ain't even been able to go to this rumor. And network TV is paying me too much money to be looking like this. I'm trying to get to my barber. So let's just. You know, I just want to answer a couple of misconceptions. And now with Bernie Mac being deceased and he can't talk for himself, what you got to say about that with Bernie Mac? I never hated on Bernie. Listen, Bernie was my guy. That's why I invited him to come into the Kings of Comedy. And I didn't, it, it didn't matter who went first or who was the closer. Bernie was my guy. I never hated on Bernie. And all the people that saying that I hated on Bernie, that's just false information. I wish Bernie was here to speak for himself and tell you that I love them. You know what I'm saying? We loved each other. I never hated on Bernie. And what about people that said you stole from Mark Curry? I don't gotta steal, Joe. I don't. You Mark stole Curry, his show I, and listen, everything. I, I never stole from Mark format. Curry. If, if Mark Curry was such a great comedian, where is he at? You know what I'm saying and I, you can't attribute whatever happened to him to me stealing what they said one joke. Come on, what happened to other thousands of jokes that comedians say? I don't steal jokes. I've never stolen jokes. And this is the issue. Like Bernie said, you don't tell jokes your best jokes in a room full of comedians. That's like stealing from the police. When these guys tell these jokes and they hear one that's similar to this, they automatically think that somebody stole their joke. I didn't say I don't have to steal jokes. I'm a king of comedy. And they said you 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 took his whole format, his show, and everything. Nonsense, no. I've been doing comedy. I was doing comedy before Mark Curry. I was doing comedy before half of these guys that's talking. I definitely was doing comedy before Cat Williams. So come on, I don't even understand why Cat got my name in his mouth. That's our next question. What what's going on with you and Cat? Why I, do you think he's coming at everyone? I think that maybe he feel like he's been underpaid for a lot of years. Cause you know he wanted to be in the Kings of Comedy, and we told him you can't be in the Kings of Comedy. You're not ready yet. You're still a kid. Like Cedric said, he's still a kid. To comedy. And that's no disrespect to him, you know. You gotta make a way, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't ready yet. What about the people that said y'all brought him on to the Kings of Comedy tour, stole his jokes, and then didn't let him perform? Why would we do that? We had much better jokes than him. Cat, only thing Cat had back then was he looked funny. But Cat didn't have better jokes than us. And the perm thing, come on, that was played out. And yes, he came out and said, I had a hairpiece and it was fake. All of that is for the showbiz. Who don't wear fake hairpieces? Come on. So do you admit that the whole time that hair piece was fake. What hair piece? Let's move forward. Listen, I came to address what Cat was saying on Shannon Sharp because it was incorrect. You never, I never hated on Bernie. I never stole any jokes from Mark Curry or anybody else. And I didn't hate on Bernie because the Kings of Comedy, I put that together. I thought Bernie was a King of Comedy. Everybody know Bernie Mac was great. I don't hate on anybody. I don't have to hate. I'm great in my own they way. You said that you hated on Bernie behind closed doors. Never that. I will never do that. I don't have no reason to do that. I really didn't even want to do comedy. I wanted to do show business. That's why I wanted to show business. That's why I wanted to movies. That's why I wanted to write in literature. I have so many facets to me that these guys don't have. I'm talking about Cat Williams. Bruh. That they can't do. So why would I hate on any of them? And I got to get to my groomer because I ain't been down there in a couple of weeks and this thing threw me all off. And I, well, I like to look fresh from head to toe well, because I get you. a lot of money. Thank you for speaking with us. No problem. Steve I respect Harvey, the nation. Thank you. That's why I stopped to speak to y'all. Thank you. Steve Not Harvey. a problem.